guys it's Effie welcome back today we're going to be doing a very detailed parting tutorial and I'm also going to show you how I did this amazing butterfly braids also known as jungle braids Okay, so before we start, I want to show you guys how to prep braiding hair from scratch because some of you have asked questions in the comment sections of other videos, how to prep the hair, um, um, how to cut the hair into waistland or whatever length you want to do, okay? So for this jungle braids, I'm going to be using the measurements of waistland. So I took the braiding hair and I'm going to fold it into three, as you can see fold it into three let me show you one more time you hold the braid in here you fold one and then you fold again so when you cut the braid in here it's going to be into three sections okay this is what I normally do um, for waist length braids and I'm using the same measurement for the jungle braids because jungle braids takes a lot of hair and to avoid me feeding hair too many times I just I'm just going to use the measurement of waist length box braids okay so after cutting the hair into three sections like so what i'm going to do now i'm going to show you how to feather the hair you want to hold the hair i'm holding it with my left hand and i'm going to use my thumb and my index finger to control this the area where i'm going to be pulling the hair from so now i'm using my thumb and index from my right hand and i'm just pulling the hair until there is no more blunt ends so you just pull out and you don't tighten your grip with your left hand thumb and index. Release your grip while you're pulling so that the, the hair can easily just pull out like so. So I'm just pulling, 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 pulling and there is no blunt end. So you want to pull as much as possible. So after pulling, I'm just going to separate all the hair that is like tangled up together as you can see me doing. So just separating the hair so that way it's easy for me to brush the hair okay all right so after separating I'm going to just try to pull out the excess hair hanging in the bottom like so to make it nice and even if that's the word to use but and then I take my brush this is the brush that I use hope you guys saw it um now just brush from the ends to the top okay so after brushing the hair is nice and ready to use and i'm just going to do the same thing with the other hair so for this i'm cutting the hair into two because i'm going to use it for the front so for the back into three for the front into two and i just did the same thing i did with the first braiding hair you see the short length and then you see the long length and now I'm just applying some blue magic grease to the braiding hair. This helps to condition the braiding hair and basically um, condition the flyaways so there's no too much flyaways sticking out. And after putting the, braid, the grease, this is what the braiding hair looks like. And now I'm just going to section the hair that I'm going to feed into the jungle braids. And this is the size that I'm using, as you can see. And just put all of them on my chair and I will be ready to break. So for parting, you want to basically envision the, the parts before you actually start parting. And you want to basically have a visual picture in your mind. So the pattern that I normally follow is the smile. Sometimes I go straight across, but today we're going to be focusing on the smile. So the smile goes like that. And I'm just going to show you guys drawing what I basically just explained. And so this is the shape of the head and the neck goes right there. And the shape of the head is usually like round. So what I'm going to do now is to start drawing the smile. So you want to have this picture in your mind before you actually start parting because if you don't, you may just part any anyhow. So if you 
if you're doing any style basically um, you are in the process of creating and when you're creating you want to make sure you have a vivid picture in your mind so that's the smile going across all the way up and for box part you just want to go straight down like so so that's basically box part okay and because the shape of the head is round like the edges of the of the part is going to look diagonal but don't let that be an issue because it doesn't really matter so this is for box parts okay and for triangle for triangle parts which I'm going to show you in just a few seconds for triangle as you can see like the the slanted area right there it's already slanted and perfect for a triangle so when you're doing a triangle part you just need to um, cut in a slanted way to meet in the middle so that's basically for triangle so this is how you follow the pattern of a triangle part okay if that makes sense I'm doing this because I really want you guys to see me um, the kind of picture I have in my mind before I start parting and so this is basically the the pattern for triangle parts okay now if you want to do free parts you could just you know start doing like circle parts like so that's if you don't want to follow any triangle or box parts so I hope that's clear okay so another important step is to make sure that the combs that you're going to use are sharp we are going to use two combs this two combs is very crucial so the rat tail comb is to make your line across and the other comb is to basically part the parts in the head <laughs> hopefully I explained that right so I'm gonna take a blade and I'm just going to break the first strand of the comb right there I know the African braiders do this a lot <laughs> to make it as sharp as possible and to create space um, when you're parting so I use the razor blade and I just make the parts nice and sharp so now we're ready to braid Okay, so the next step is to make sure that the hair is nice and moisturized. I am using black castor oil right now. My model has 4C hair and definitely needs oil. And I'm also adding the She Miracle uh, Moisturizing Cream. I mix it both with the black castor oil and I'm just applying it to her hair like so. You want to make sure your hair is moisturized and detangled before you start parting because you want it to be as free as possible when you are cutting through the hair. So one thing that I like to do that is a tradition is to add shining jam to the back of the, of the hair um, just to make it as clean as possible. And the next step is positioning. This part is very crucial to make your parts perfect. The direction at which you are standing is going to determine how clean your part is going to be. So I'm about to make my first smile and I'm going to stand away from her hair and I'm going to stand to the left side while I pat through from the right side like so. so I'm standing away to the left side so that the comb can meet my body if that makes sense okay if you're gonna pass straight across then you want to stand behind the head but since I am patting a smile I am going to stand in a slanted direction so hopefully that makes sense and now I'm just going to take the rat tail comb and make my first line and the comb is just going to meet my body like so okay so now we made the first line 
and after that we're going to make the line even more perfect we're going to add shine and jam to the part because shine and jam helps you to basically catch those little hairs that is making the parts not straight so apply some shine and jam comb it through and we are going to basically make the parts cleaner and this time I applying a little bit more pressure not too much pressure that it, the comb pokes her head or her scalp but I'm going to bring the camera closer so you guys can see okay you hold her hair like so so you can see and we're going to follow the same line again applying a little bit of pressure so you can catch those little hairs that are hiding and you're going to do this until you feel comfortable and you see that there is no more hair standing in the way so just keep watching me i'm going to continue to do this like two times to make sure it's nice and clean Okay, so now I am satisfied with the line and it's nice and equal. I'm just going to clip that away and I'm just going to repeat the smile until I get to the top because she's going to wear a middle part and this smile is also going to allow her to wear the hair to the side as well. So I'm just going to go smile, smile, smile until the smile gets smaller on top and then I'm going to make a middle part. So just keep on watching me. Okay, so we are in the last smile for the middle part and since it's the middle part, I'm going to stand right behind her and tilt her head backwards and I'm going to use her nose as a guide to get the middle, exactly the middle, okay? If you're going to do side part, then you basically would want to um, stand on the side but I don't think the side part is really necessary because like I said, with the smile part she could easily just flip the hair to the side and she already has like a side part because there's like all these lines and she could easily just flip the hair to the side so that's basically it and i hope this was really clear for you guys so now we are going to start making the box parts going down across okay actually no i'm gonna show you first <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate to you the triangle, um, how to do the triangle part like I explained in the drawing and let's do that now because I want to make sure you guys get all these points, okay? 
So let's assume we're doing triangle, right? You take the comb and you see that slant right there that I was talking about in the drawing. So we're going to intersect and meet that slant right there in the middle. So I'm going to stand to the side the direction which I want the part to come to. So I'm going to meet the this, this slant right there in the middle. Like so. So by just doing one straight line across to meet in the middle, you automatically have your first triangle part. And then this will guide you to make your next triangle part. So now you're going to start from the top and go down. You see I moved to the left side. So I want to always stand in the direction of which I want the parts to go. And that's basically it for triangle part. That's how you start triangle part. Like so. And then for, for box part, all you do is stand behind the head like I'm doing. Okay. And then I just cut straight down like so. And there you go, you have your first box part. I'm gonna make another one. You see how the, the, the tip of the comb and the space between the comb just makes it easier. That's why the African braiders do that. <laughs> so that's basically it for box part. And then for C part, all you have to do is just make a C like so. This is basically like free part. And for this, you really don't need to do the smile. You could just start off the braid and just start doing free part and just making like C parts like so all throughout the head. All right, let's move on. So we are going to be doing box parts for the style and we are going to start off the base with knotless braids because that's the technique. I mean, you could do it the regular traditional, but I feel like they look better with the knotless. And for the knotless, because the size of the braids are large, I'm going to, oh, I already split the hair into three before you start braiding, like I just did. So I split the hair into three, and then I take the first strand of hair that I'm gonna fit in so first, you split the hair in three, braid one, braid one, braid two, braid three, braid four, braid five, braid six, and then I'm going to fit in it, the hair on my right side. So I place the hair over, I let go of the strand hanging, and then I tuck the hanging strand under. Let go, braid, tuck under like so. I will repeat this step again. So I'm going to try as much as I can to tuck her uh, natural hair in as you can see. Basically her natural hair is underneath the braiding hair. That's how to tuck. And once I have braided this much, I'm going to take the hair from the side and just pull it out like so. So you braid, braid, and then you pull out. So I usually count like one, two, three, and pull out one two three and pull out on the other side one two three and pull out on the right side so I'm doing this left and right left and right counting one two three and pull out and I'm pulling pulling out basically um, the braid above my hand okay one two three pull out from the braid above my hand and just continue like so so I'm running out of hair. One side is thinner. I'm just going to add in some hair, but just keep on watching. So my camera stopped recording at some point, so I didn't show you guys how I finished the end. So I'm going to repeat this step again. So braid one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm right-handed, that's why I'm fitting in from the right. If you're left-handed, you're going to fit in from the left, okay? Place the braiding here over, let go, 
and tuck under. Place the braid in here, over, let go, and tuck under. Then you flip the braid, you tuck her natural hair underneath the braiding hair, and you continue to braid. And now it's time to pull out some hair. All, all you need to remember with pulling out is when you're ready to pull out after counting one, two, three, release your grip so that you could easily pull the braiding hair out. Okay? So one, two, three, release your grip and pinch the braiding hair out from the side. One, two, three, release your grip and pinch the braiding hair out from the side like so. Because if you um, braid it tight, it will be hard for you to um, pull out the braiding hair when it's time to pull it out, okay? So release your grip when you get to that point. And just do it left and right, left and right, left and right. It doesn't really matter how much um, hair you need to pull out. Sometimes I pull out thinner hair, sometimes I pull out thicker hair. Just pull out something, okay? <laughs> Pull out something. This style is tedious to do, you guys. It's not easy. So I'm just measuring the hair, making sure it's all equal. So it's basically reaching almost her bra strap because this is a long bulb. This is a long bulb style. And then once I reach the end, I add some glue and I just wrap over the glue like so to secure it. And there you go. I cut the ends and that's it. So I'm just continuing this motion with the square parts until I reach the top of her head, okay? And when I'm on the side, I'm going to stand on the side. So we are almost halfway done and this is what it looks like so far. I want to make sure all the braids are equal in the back. And now we are going to do the side. So this is a very crucial step as well. Now that we're on the side, we're going to make sure you stand on the side. Do not stand behind when it's time to do the side. I'm going to show you what could possibly go wrong with your parts if you do not stand accordingly. Okay, so right now I'm standing on the side. That's why that part looks nice and straight going down. So now if I stand behind her when I'm doing the side, you're going to see that the part is going to follow my body and it's not going to be straight going down. This is why, you know, people's parts go <laughs> crazy because they do not follow the rule of positioning. Positioning is key with parting, you know, to get perfect, perfect parts, you have to position the proper way. For straight lines going down, you want to stand and face the straight line. For slanted triangle, you want to stand to the slanted side. And since we are now like in the middle of her head, I'm using the longer braiding hair. That's why I did um, into three and into two cuts. So now that we're in the middle, I'm using the longer braiding hair because now we're going to need longer hair, okay? So I'm going to braid all the way down and I'm going to measure it with the the rest of the braids that I've already done in the back to make sure it's equal and that's basically how to do the bob so there's no burning with fire on this bob just use nail glue wrap the ends and you are good to go so just keep on watching and see how I finish the whole head So we are basically almost done and um, for the rest of this braids so far I used the 
regular expression braiding here but then i ran out of the regular expression braiding here by the time i got to the top so i had some leftover pre-stretch braiding here that i have and that's what i use for the remaining here the leftover here basically so the texture of this hair is different from the hair we've been using so far so if you notice this hair the pre-stretch braiding hair i'm using right now is much more smoother and silkier and i definitely recommend you use the pre-stretch braiding hair um to do this style because it's going to be easier for you to pull out and it's going to look much much neater than the regular coarse braiding hair i will leave the link to this pre-stretch pre braiding hair in the description box so if you want to do this style it's, it's going to be better for it because i noticed that it doesn't have as much um flyaways and it, it, it's very smooth on my fingers and the texture is really really nice to pull out so it looks nice and sleek okay <laughs> so i would recommend you use this instead of the regular braiding here so that's it you guys once we're done i'm going to show you guys the finishing touch So we are done, I'm just going to apply some sulfur 8 braid spray to her scalp. Just to make sure her scalp is nice and fed. <laughs> just spray that on her scalp. And for the braids, I'm going to apply this leave-in conditioning spray by Cream of Nature. That's what I always use. And that's what I'm going to apply, no mousse, nothing. And we basically use one and a half to two packs of the braid in here. I wasn't really counting. So she could do like a little cute half up, half down and a half of half down bun and different styles with this so flexible and so lightweight because again we use like one and a half to two packs of braiding hair which is not a lot at all and it's very convenient hairstyle nothing too much to do and yeah this is me showing you how she could wear it to the side so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and thank you guys so much for watching